Screen printing, also known as silk screening or serigraphy, is a printing technique that uses a fine mesh tightly stretched over a metal frame called a screen. The screen is coated and transformed into a stencil by placing the artwork in the form of a positive on the light-sensitive coated screen and exposing it to an intense light source, which in effect burns the image into the screen. The mesh, which is porous, where the image has been burned, allows ink to be forced through the open holes of the screen onto the flat substrate beneath it with the aid of a sharp-edged squeegee. Basically, it is the process of using the mesh-based stencil to apply ink onto a substrate, whether it be t-shirts, posters, stickers, vinyl, wood, or other flat material. We at Kevro Branding have a total of five multicolor automatic screen printing machines and a numerous amount of manual printers. The use of automatic machines is to allow for complex multiple color quantities of t-shirts and other flat items at much higher production levels than manual screen printing. This process needs artwork to be in vector format. Positives are created from approved artwork and the image is printed directly onto transparency film saving time and eliminating the use of development chemicals for the process to be completed. This process needs artwork in vector format. Screens are made in-house, allowing for time saving and efficiency in regards to production. The process of making a screen starts from the arrival of the final positive to the exposure room. It is then mounted on a pre-prepared blank screen. The next process is to expose the screen to an ultraviolet light source. The light-sensitive coating on the screen then reacts to the light, thus creating the screen. The solid areas of the positive block out the light, whereas the exposed areas allow the light through, thus solidifying the emulsion and curing it in place. The screen is then washed and the non-exposed areas of the screen fall away and reveal the image exposed from the positive. Reclaiming of screens is also done on the premises as the screens are reusable. This is the process of cleaning off any image on the screen, leaving it clear, ready to create a completely new screen. Similar to the screen printing process, the pad plates are created by exposing a positive on a light-sensitive metal plate. A screen is then exposed to apply a line screen for a clearer print. After the exposure, the plate is washed in a water-based solution and then cured in an oven for three minutes revealing the image that was exposed. This process needs artwork in vector format. Pad printing is a printing process that can transfer a 2D image onto a 3D object. This is accomplished using an indirect offset printing process that involves an image being transferred from the cliché via a silicone pad onto a substrate. Pad printing is used for printing on otherwise difficult to print on products in many industries including medical, automotive, promotional and electronic objects as well as appliances, sports equipment and toys. Physical changes within the ink film, both on the cliché and on the pad, allow it to leave the etched image area in favour of adhering to the pad and to subsequently release from the pad in favor of adhering to the substrate. We can print a maximum of five colors in pad with a maximum print area of 60 millimeters by 40 millimeters.
Kevro boasts a large digital department that hosts numerous branding processes under one roof. The processes include YAG laser engraving machines, which use lasers to engrave on a multitude of materials, with the exception of some organic materials like wood and certain leathers. This department also has a CO2 laser machine, which is used solely to engrave on organic items like wood, leather and various other organic materials. Digital stickers are printed in full color from a sheet of adhesive vinyl and machine cut to the size and shape requirements. They can be applied to many different products, even products with curved surfaces, as the stickers are quite flexible. This process can use high resolution JPEG images as well as vector format artwork. Pantone colors are not easily matched. The doming process is a process of applying a liquid resin to a printed adhesive label. Firstly, the labels are printed and cut on an industrial digital printer. They are then stripped of excess label, leaving behind the label that will have the resin applied to it. Resin is delivered manually to each individual label in calculated amounts, allowing the resin to flow to the edges of each label. The labels are then put in an oven to set, thus creating the 3D domed label that is known as a dome sticker. Dome stickers can be applied to a multitude of products as long as they have a flat, smooth surface for application. Heat pressing is the option of branding that may be utilized in various clothing and fabric items as it is the option that allows for the use of full color images and illustrations. This process starts from the printing of the image on a specialized heat press vinyl. It is then stripped of the excess vinyl and applied to the application tape. The prepared vinyl is then applied to the position specified by the artwork and pressed with a machine at a temperature of 155 degrees for 15 seconds. After pressing, the application tape is removed and the vinyl remains on the t-shirt. Direct Digital is the process which allows for full color printing to be printed digitally direct to objects using an ultraviolet ink. Items that can be printed include pens, notepads, rulers, USB drives, etc. Debossing is the process in which a metal block is used to imprint on a flat surface with the use of heat. Foiling is similar to the debossing process, although the difference is the use of a metallic foil to add color to the pressed logo. The layout artists are responsible for the creation of the layout for the branding of the various items that have been specified for branding. Once the order has been confirmed by the branding coordinators, the branding request is then emailed to the artist to create the layout. The layout is then sent back to the branding coordinator to liaise with the clients for an approval or if any changes are required. Once the artwork is approved and the order is paid for, it is then scheduled on the system. The scheduling times are determined by the complexity of the job, i.e. quantity,
colors, branding process, etc. The scheduler will distribute the job cards according to the branding process requirements, thus ensuring the right job to the right department. This is when the branding magic starts. Branding coordinators are responsible for the correct capture of the order from the sales department and to further liaise with the client every step of the way in regard to any order. Please remember that PDF or vector artwork formats are always preferred as well as Pantone colors, size and position of the print. Once a job is approved and paid for, the stock is received in the branding department and distributed according to branding requirements. Embroidery is the craft of decorating fabric and other materials with a needle and thread. In modern times, the embroidery machine has taken what was once a handicraft and industrialized it, allowing for logos and patterns to be replicated and mass-produced by means of computerized embroidery machines. The embroidery process begins with an idea or a piece of artwork. That artwork then has to be digitized which is the specialized process of converting two-dimensional artwork into stitches. The digitizing computer software will allow numerous machines to embroider, stitch, the logo or design repetitively onto various garments. Contrary to popular opinion, you cannot take a particular format of art, such as JPEG, TIFF, EPS or Bitmap, and convert it into embroidery format. The digitizer has to actually recreate the artwork using stitches, meaning the digitizer is programming the sewing machine to sew a specific design in a specific color with a specific type of stitch. This is the process known as digitizing. The digitizing of an image can be simple to very complicated, depending on the size and detail of the image. This activity is as much an art form as it is a science. Skill and creativity are essential. Once the digitized file is completed, complex designs are sent to the sample machine. The sample swatch is approved and the order will go into production. All goods arriving from the warehouse are checked. This includes obvious defects, color, style and quantity, and is matched to the job card. These goods move into the marking section. The garments are marked with chalk lines identifying the exact spot the machine operator will use to place the item into the machine. As the machines have multiple heads, up to 12 garments can be run at the same time. While the digitizing process automates the machine stitching, much of the process continues to be hands-on. Before the sewing can begin, specific thread colors must be loaded by hand into the machines. A spool of thread for each color for each sewing head must be loaded. The machine itself is programmed by the operator to sew the design in a particular color sequence. The garments must then be hooped individually again by hand and then loaded into the machine. Once the design has completed sewing, the garment is taken off the machine, unhooked and then sent to the cleaning process. This consists of trimming away excess threads and cutting away the backing material used to stabilize the fabric during the embroidery on the inside of the garment. The chalk lines are removed and the garment is quality checked and put back into packaging and sent through to warehouse to be dispatched.
The time taken to finish a run will be determined by the number of stitches, colors and complexity. Embroidery is usually charged per thousand stitches, as it is the easiest measure and probably the most accurate factor in evaluating machine time. Embroidery thread colors do not correlate 100% to Pantone colors and as such makes it difficult to get a perfect match. It is always advisable to get a sample from the client if the logo has been run elsewhere before so we can match it as close as possible. Small and fine detailed work is not advisable with embroidery as the stitches will close up. Intricate lettering and detail will be lost. In general we cannot embroider any letter under 5 mm high, font dependent. And we also cannot embroider half tone gradients or shading. The maximum size on caps is 54 mm high, any higher and the logo starts to distort. Certain fabrics might not be suitable for embroidery as the needles and hoops might tear the fabric, i.e. very thin t-shirts, leather and padded or insulated fabric. Kevrol Branding boasts an efficient packing and unpacking department that speedily unpacks stock to be branded and repacks for dispatch to the various destinations. With a stringent quality checking process, we strive to ensure the best possible quality and service for our valued customers.